As the world commemorates D-Day in Normandy today, not everyone remembers the local contributions to the war. Our own Blake Dietz went out to Midway Village, and Blake, what all did you find out? Yeah, Tom, Mimi, of course, D-Day is remembered across the globe as a turning point in World War II. Here in Rockford, though, you may not know about the role the city and its people played. Rockford's Camp Grant really changed Rockford as well as it did support the war effort. As the world remembers the 80th anniversary of D-Day, Rockford's Midway Village is preserving a piece of city history that played a vital role in the Allies' invasion of Normandy, France during World War II. The 80th of D-Day is a good time to remember. Rockford supported the war effort uh, with Camp Grant. There was quite a few civilian uh, groups in Rockford to help support the soldiers and, and in, in return, you know, with so many soldiers here. During the war, thousands of military personnel, including an estimated 100,000 medical personnel, trained at Camp Grant, located on what is now the Chicago Rockford International Airport. One particular connection that Rockford has to Camp Grant is the 745th Tank Battalion uh, landed on uh, the Omaha Beach in Normandy uh, 80 years ago today, and most of the unit was made up of soldiers who were uh, trained at Camp Grant. So that's uh, quite, a, quite a unique thing for Rockford's heritage. One of five tank battalions to land on Normandy during D-Day, the Camp Grant trained battalion endured some of the greatest challenges of the entire war. They were the tip of the spear. They were, um, they were saw the worst of the fighting, the Aachen and Battle of Bulge and Normandy and D-Day. It didn't get any hairier than that. It didn't get any more profound, and and uh, that was the, the 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 difficult slog to get uh, Europe um, back in control for the Allies. Midway Village is set to open an exhibit dedicated to Camp Grant around the New Year. Mimi. All right. Thanks, Blake.